Breast cancer affects about 12% of American women, and researchers are continuing to look for new ways to treat the disease. Yeah, as Channel 2 anchor Lauren Freeman reports, new potential causes are being discovered that can increase risk. When Amelia Pullum found a lump on her breast this past spring, she didn't waste any time getting in to see her doctor. But she was hardly prepared for what came next. It led to additional tests, and the test then proved that the lump was not only in one breast, there was also an cyst in a lump in the other one, and it had also spread to my liver. It was a stunning find for Amelia, who was a stickler for her annual mammograms and had no known risk factors for breast cancer. There's no history in my family, so it's also the strand that I have isn't genetic, so you can't pass it down. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I eat healthy, I have an active lifestyle, and yet I got this. The one thing she never considered, the compounded effects of stress throughout her life. It has to be. Dr. Zena Nalaya, an oncologist with Cleveland Clinic, says for years doctors have looked for the potential association between stress and cancer. And whether there is a, a relationship and if so what is the driver behind and what's the uh, cause and how does stress affect uh, cancer cells. Dr. Nalaya is also looking into not only whether stress affects the development of cancer but how having stress can affect the outcome of treatment therapies. The cancer cells may have some receptors we call them some proteins that uh, communicate with stress hormones and if you can block this uh, relationship between stress hormones that are uh, released when you have stress especially chronically over time that maybe uh, the cancer cells decrease the research is still in its infancy and not yet ready for clinical application but it's still opening new doors to greater understanding of cancer and its development for her part Amelia is now taking steps to reduce stress in her life including daily meditation that is something that I have started to see change me in a way that is productive. What is clear is about how stress can suppress the immune system, which has a direct effect on the body's ability to fight diseases and infections and even chronic conditions such as cancer. Lauren Freeman, KPRC, Channel 2 News.